right. Let's get out here. See what we can't do. All right, so I have permission to fish a local lake. We are here in Crestview, Florida, looking to get on some largemouth bass. Now, this should be an interesting video. I'm sure I got quite a few uh, subscribers that enjoy bass fishing, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, right now, I'm looking for a launch location. Ooh, check this out. Private lake, no trespassing, no public fishing, no boat launching. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Okay, I see that, but I also see a John boat here, and I see a John boat there. So, uh, we do have permission to fish here, and uh, there's a series of three or four uh, lakes or ponds, whichever, whichever you want to call it. And uh, I want to push off in here with my kayak. And I think that's exactly what I am going to do. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find a place to launch out here and see if I can't get a video for you guys. Um, it might get a little bit interesting because there may be a Karen or two. Or uh, hopefully everything will go smooth and we'll get us a nice big bass for you guys. So if you got some time, Grab a drink, grab a seat, and let's see if we can find somewhere to launch and get to fishing. Let's go. Just force our way in. Our way here. So the water's super clear here. Uh, a lot of vegetation, as you can see, which is common in the summertime. But I'm thinking top water for today, um, at least until the sun gets up. And then after that, we can switch to a uh, few subsurface baits. But right now, let's get in, let's get to fishing. Vitamin D. All right. We are in. Now let's get situated so we can get our prop drive in. I'm going to be honest. This kind of stuff excites me. We got our pedal drive system in. Now, I don't know where to start. I have no idea about this lake, this pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're in and all the juicy spots are ours. We have this whole thing into ourselves. And so uh, I'm thinking I might start hitting the bank with a frog. What do you guys think? I don't know, but uh, I have a few baits tied on. Uh, first and foremost, I have a whopper plopper tied on. So this guy right here, that's my Shimano Corrado DC. Um, we have our Daiwa Tatula tied up with a little jerk shad, uh, a little jerk bait. And then we have a spinner bait, of course, because we know how big bass love spinner baits. So uh, I'm going to stop talking. I might go ahead and start casting. All right, I think I'm going to start with this black whopper plopper. Um, I've had this bait for quite a while now and it has done pretty well for me and i think uh it's just the perfect time to start throwing a top water so um, all i'm gonna do is cast this guy out towards the bank and then retrieve it at sort of a medium speed i've been seeing some top water action just some ripples and things um but again i don't know if those are turtles i don't know what they are i'm just uh basically Fishing on a whim here. Seeing what we can do out here at this new pond. 
If we have to, we'll throw the whole tackle box today, guys. So I just pulled this whopper plopper out of the water and pulled some grass off of it. And that water is really, really warm. So that's something we got to think about. That water is really warm. And that's to be expected. I mean, we're at the end of July, almost into August. So this water is going to be really, really warm. And those fish are just going to be just kind of exhausted, really, just from the water being so hot itself. And uh, not really wanting to chase too much, but they will chase early in the morning like this. Let's put this guy down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and tie on a frog because I'm going to go hit some of this grass over here straight ahead. All right, now we got our frog tied on, and I think that's a booyah frog. Um, I've had much, much success on these frogs, and I gotta tell you, it is a fun, fun bite. I'm thinking these bass are gonna be right up against the bank. This track is just way too loose. Fishing 12 pound P line fluorocarbon. I used to fish 15, but that's just what we got now. And this, this reel right here is freshly spooled up. So we're good on this guy. We might have to work our way out towards that middle out there. Seeing a lot of activity out that way. We're gonna go a little bit lighter. Gonna try and match the hatch as well. See if we can't make something happen out here. Pretty sure this is all bait out here. So I got this little jerk jerk shad Let's see if we can't get thumped on it a lot of bait over here working if I'm gonna get bit by anything it's gonna be this guy unless I put on a soft plastic like a Cinco or something and that's kind of my last resort. Show me what you got, Pond. Show me what you got. I'm gonna just work this outer edge as if we're on a boat pushing around with a trolling motor, just working the outer edge. Beating the bank is what they like to call it. Cool little lake, super slow start off. Not a single bite yet, not a single thump. Really no action at all. Uh, seemingly seeing fish roll on top or it could be carp, it could be turtles. I'm not sure, but maybe things will turn around. We're gonna keep fishing and working this bank until we actually get hooked up, so. All right, I see some pylons ahead. I'm gonna work my way up to those. And then if those don't pop off, then we'll go straight across the pond over to this wooded area. And that will be a great place where there's no activity. Um, and those fish could be hiding over there. So first thing we're gonna do is push up. There's just a couple little pylons right here. Not sure what that's all about. It looks like there might be a little dam. Maybe we can find some deeper water and I'll tie on a Texas rig or something, but let's see what's going on over here. All right, I'm still optimistic. Let's, uh, let's work our way over here. All right, let's try and work this little pocket over here. We're getting back towards that wood line where I wanted to come over to. I think this is the most fishy looking area in the pond so far 
something just rolled off the bank right here. There he is. We got one. 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 Stay down, buddy. Oh, it's a good pass, dude. That's a good pass. That's a good bass. That is a really good bass. Let's take you some drag, dude. Take you some drag. Stay down, stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Come here, come here. Come here. We gotta net this fish. Come here, dude. Oh, he's hooked good. He's hooked good. All right, come here, come here. Oh my goodness. Got him. Look at that boss, baby. Yes. Yes. Yes, I made the right call. Let's get him unhooked. Look at this toad. Look at that toad right there of a fish, baby. That's a solid two and a half pounder. Look at that bucket mouth. Shoo-wee. <laughs> yes. He's bleeding a little bit, so we're going to get him back. Man, I'm so excited right now. Good, good fish. I hooked him in the gills just a little bit, but that is a solid, solid fish for the neighborhood lake, neighborhood pond, whatever you want to call it. Let's get him back. There he goes, swimming off slowly. Ow! We're getting back to our roots, guys. Uh, this channel was pretty much founded on uh, bass fishing as well as some inshore fishing. And uh, man, I'm just so excited to be out here catching fish for you guys. First bass of the day, a solid one. And uh, hey, I'm even more optimistic than I was now. You know, that gives you a little boost of confidence when you can get you a bass or two, especially a doggone good one. Man, let's see if we can get arranged and get back out there. I'm sure fishing with a worm or something would get me a lot more bites. But I'd have to weed through a lot of the small ones. I just can't stand fishing with a worm. It's just too slow of a bite for me. We got another good one, dude. And I do mean a good one. Got another good one. I saw some bait uh, come up to the surface and kind of, kind of run. And sure enough, a turtle showed up right next to him. Oh yes, it is. It's a freaking tank. God, I lost him. Oh my god. <laughs> Good gracious! Oh my goodness, dude! That was a five pound bass. Oh my goodness, that was a good one. <laughs> I cannot believe I just lost that fish. He stayed down forever and when he finally came up and I saw his mouth, I thought it was a turtle, it was, it was so big. My goodness, okay. I was thinking about leaving. I was thinking about switching up the plan, but it's like the more I doubt this place, it just reminds me why I need to be here. Let's get a bait back in the water. Oh my goodness, that was a good fish. All right, guys. I think I've seen enough of this pond. Um, not too bad. Um, I mean, I, I hooked into some good fish. I caught that one, two and a half, close to three pounder and uh lost about a five pounder i'm sure you guys saw that that was uh that was exciting that fish just kind of picked that bait up didn't really hit it really hard he just kind of picked it up all of them seemed to do that this morning 
and uh, it's still early so I think I'm gonna go and see if I can't push off into either another pond or another lake so I appreciate Erica for giving me the permission to come through and fish her lake and uh, maybe we'll come back and see what this thing has to offer at a different time but right now let's just get pushed off of here and uh, see if we can't drop in somewhere else and find a few more fish let's go